upset that the Cowboys were losing and told me to do some extra homework. But it's okay. I forgive her yelling at me. So our central question, how do we multiply and divide rational numbers? Most specifically, uh, fractions. That's what we're doing. And so our first set of actual notes here, nice and straightforward. To multiply fractions, multiply the numerators and the denominators. Which is nice and easy. So I'll give you a minute to copy that down while I go and watch all the highlights of uh, Ezekiel Elliott running this week. And I'm back. <laughs> Eight yards on nine carries. How's that? Okay, example one. We got one fourth times three eighths. So we said all we got to do is multiply the numerators and the denominators. So we just go straight across. So we have one times three on top and four times eight on the bottom. And then we just multiply one times three is three, four times eight is 32. I can't simplify, so we're done. Piece of cake. Okay, example two. Don't worry, this gets exceedingly more complicated in a couple seconds. So what if we throw some negatives in there? This is not the complicated part. Two sevenths times negative one ninth equals, it's the same thing, we go straight across. So negative two times negative one over, then seven times nine. So on top, negative two times negative one, that's positive two. And then on the bottom, seven times nine is 63. Again, we cannot simplify, so again, we're finished. So that's it. So if it's just fractions, you multiply a shared across and say, hooray, easy questions, easy grades. Then it gets more difficult. So when you multiply mixed numbers, we have to rename them as improper fractions first, and then multiply. Okay, there is no shortcut to multiplying mixed numbers. It's just kind of a pain. I'm going to hide this one that says math is bad. Okay. So example three. Oops. Pen. So one half times four and two thirds. So there's no clever way to get around doing this. You have to make mixed numbers and proper fractions. So one half, you leave alone. Four and two thirds. So we say four times three is 12, plus two is 14. So this is 14 over three. And once we have two fractions, then it's just like what we we're doing up above. So we have one times 14 over two times three. Okay, at some point you have to simplify. You could simplify here if you see 2 and 14. You could divide both of those by 2. Or we could multiply. 1 times 14 is 14. 2 times 3 is 6. We could simplify this one here. All right? Or we can change back to a mixed number. So you have to change it back at some point anyway. Mixed number. So we would divide this out. So 14 on top, six on the bottom, which gives us two as our whole number with two left over. So 14, oops, 14 over six equals two and two, six. And then we just simplified. Now we've run out of chances. We have to simplify. So two, six is one third. So this becomes two and one third, okay? So you have three opportunities, one, two, three, to simplify. You just have to do it at one of those times. So far, so good. That's multiplication. Uh, okay, so going to the back side. So now that we've done division, so now we can talk about multiplication. Or now that we've done multiplication, we can talk about division. Got that backwards. So if we want to divide by a fraction, multiply by the reciprocal which is just a fancy way of saying flip the fraction over. 
flip my paper over. So we have example four. So now we have one third divided by negative, oh, okay, let's throw that in there too, negative four fifths. So we say multiply by the reciprocal. Reciprocal, period. Okay. So the reciprocal, we always take it the second number. So four-fifths, we'd flip that over, and that becomes five over four. And you can keep the negative with the four. I like to keep it on top. Okay, uh, let's see. The first number will never change, right? So one-third stays as one-third. And then this division, now it's multiplication. And multiplication is not that hard. So we have 1 times negative 5 over 3 times 4. This is not a good 3. Uh -huh. Not much better. I can, I can improve on this. 3. All right. So 1 times negative 5, that's negative 5. 3 times 4 is 12. So 1 third divided by negative 4 fifths ends up being negative 5 twelfths. Not too bad. Just one extra step. You gotta flip the fraction and then multiply instead. So at no point do you ever actually divide by fractions. Because that's bad. Alright, last one. The worst of the worst. So if we can multiply by mixed numbers, we can also divide by mixed numbers. So it follows the same process. So we rename the mixed number to so make everything into improper fractions. Then we flip the second number again, and then we multiply. So if we can remember all those steps, we'll get this correct. So our last example, and then we're done. Make pretty good time here. Example five. Two thirds divided by three and a quarter. Someone says, what is this torture? Pfft, you don't even know. This is this is baby math. Come on now. Alright, so rewrite the mixed number. As an improper fraction. Okay, so 3 and 1 fourths. So we do 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 1 more is 13. So this becomes 13 over 4. 2 thirds stays the same. But now keep in mind, we haven't changed the sign yet. So we haven't taken the reciprocal. All we did is rewrite the fractions. Okay. So then the next step is we rewrite the reciprocal, which is not on Miss Geyer's notes. I'm going off script here. Hopefully she does not yell at me again. So this becomes two thirds times four over thirteen. So we just take the second fraction, flip it over, change the division to times, and then we can do math. So this is equal to whatever two times four is divided by whatever three times thirteen is. And then this part's not that bad. Two times four is eight. Three times thirteen is 39 and you get your answer. So two thirds divided by three and a quarter is equal to eight thirty ninths. And that's it. So many dislikes because so many people are salty that the Cowboys lost. Get over it, nerds. Okay, good night. That wasn't so bad, right? Let's see. Mixed fractions, ugh. Easy peasy. Ugly and useless. Ugly and useless. Just like, ah, I won't say it. Oh, uh, why do you even teach fractions? This is true. After middle school, you never see mixed fractions anymore because mixed fractions are terrible. But they're on the middle school test. And you need to know they exist. 
and I guess if you do like money, it sort of makes fractions. You know, like you write your check $23.15 out of 100 cents. Say it. What am I saying? Oh, say it. <laughs> it's implied. What was the calculus homework? I'm still waiting to see what that question is to see if I can do high school math. Nathan. Just waiting here patiently like we waited for uh, Zeke to get that first first down. Ha 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 ha. So you're still doing review and you can't handle it. That sounds like a personal problem. You don't blame the teacher. Mm hmm. Lana's winning. Boo. Five people are still watching. Who are these five people? Oh. I need to start putting some names with these familiar faces. Or how many of them are just high schoolers that I'm not even responsible for anymore. Calculus A B boiled potato. Okay. Calculus Oh shoot, I found it. Uh or not. Fifty pounds of banana. 